All right, so today's video is assembling, as you've seen from the video title, a um, trigger assembly for an Ithaca Model 37. <clears throat> Pretty simple, all in all. What you do is you start, uh, seeing as you probably yanked it all apart anyway, and uh, now there's a bunch of pieces. This is basically how you put it back together then. So you take your little spring that you got out there, you put it back in the hole, that spring, you've got this little plunger, well, that's what pushes on the plunger here, this is the uh, safety basically, so then you take your the actual safety, the dents that you see there <coughs> are going to be up against the plunger, there's only one way to put this in. I wish I had better lighting here, but <clears throat> can't have what we want all the time. So you basically have the plunger there. Push down with your fingernail. Try not to launch it across the room. And then you could put the safety on completely and have it sitting out like that. Actually, it's fire now, but <clears throat> anyways. Now that your safety's on, you can put your trigger in. Your trigger, which is right here. It's got the pin that goes through, and it's got a small little spring, which is right here. So you got this little spring here. There's a hole in the bottom there. Place it in the hole. Take your trigger. Place it. Bring it so it's in line with the hole that's there, and then all you have to do is take your other spring, it's right here, place it in the hole it's on an angle here. Uh, See how the spring is placed on here? Anyways, I'm not going to take it off because it can be a pain in the ass to put back on. So this is just going to go over here. <clears throat> and uh, the same pin is going to hold the two parts of the trigger in place. Well, the trigger and the... Um, bolt release I guess you would call it in place so you want to line it up once again so that you've got this here and you're going to take pull this out the Lining up with the. Alright. So the trigger is now being held in place. Your spring on that still in place. Now you want to sort of go and you can see it's finally line itself up <clears throat> I'll give this a light bluing just before putting it in just touch it up and it should be fine Alright, so now you've got the trigger in place. With the spring, which seems to be still in place, and you've got the 
release here. Next thing you want to do is get your hammer. Hammer is easy. Normally, if you pull that out for whatever reason, I guess I won't judge you that harshly, but you could take it, make sure this goes underneath, make sure your hammer goes right to the bottom there. up you then take your your pin which has one direction that'll be better to insert than the other the other side now your hammer's in place it's trapped there so you pull Fires. That works, which is your, uh, what allows you to slam fire, whatever you want to call it. Pull it up. And now what you do is you go from the back of it here, you drop in your plunger, you take your spring, you push it in. Take your little end piece on the back of the spring. This is all pushed in, and that little cross pin here will then uh, go right into place here. So try to line it up how it was before. There's no reason to, it's just. My preference, I guess you would call it. Now, you wish you had a few extra fingers for this, but... It's only gonna go in one way, so... Once again, this is going to be one of those things you don't want to, or don't want to release across your kitchen or whatever room you're working in. Tap this in, hope that everything goes well. Alright. <clears throat> Should go pretty smoothly if you put your finger over it. see this properly but fortunately you can't do much better than that sort of placed get this alright and that's in position everything should be in here, we'll do a function test. First thing, safety is off. Don't have it painted red, but so safety off. This is here. Nothing here.
fires, locks, locks, releases, fires, safety's on, nothing caught here. Release, safety works. So everything seems to be working fine. Pins in place. Just gonna give it a good oiling. And that is all that it takes to put one of these together. Thanks for watching.